So my friend Bob has a nice clean tank for me. Uh, he's gonna bring it by today and uh, I'll have that tank installed. This one I don't even want to bother cleaning. It's just beyond uh, cleaning it. I know I've tried that in the past and even if you clean a tank it's never the same. Um, you can get it recoated all you want. I've done it on my Pagoda. I had issues so I'm just gonna do the sensible thing and get a, uh, a new or used tank that is clean inside and uh, put that in and I'll have a peace of mind and I'll know all the fuel system parts are sorted and I could eliminate that as being a, you know a problem for the car not running properly if it doesn't run properly eventually so all right so here's the new used tank uh, I got the new sending unit installed the uh, gas tank into the trunk area is a little bit complicated you gotta fidget with it and wiggle it around but eventually it will go into place you gotta make sure you connect the fuel sending unit um, connector which is what I'm doing here and after you do that you can push everything back into place and there's four uh, studs that the tank will fit through and then uh, just go ahead and fasten those when you're done and then check everything underneath to make sure it's all lined up. Looks like we are in. Everything's in place. I could uh, put this hose together. Alright, so now I'm going to be checking the cams to see if they are AMG cams. Uh, it's a possibility, you never know, so I'm just going to take a look and see if I could see any markings on the back of the cam. I'll go ahead and take off the left side. I'm going to first uh, mark my wires, number them. I'm going to number them one, two, three, four in that order so I know where the spark plug wires go so I don't mess up the order. And I uh, also pull one of the plugs to see what the, what the plugs are looking like. I already changed the oil and uh, you know clean the change the oil filter, clean that housing nicely. Um, these uh, valve cover gaskets will need to be changed. I don't have a set right now, so I'll just put it back with these and then eventually I'll change them if uh, when I get a set. So let's get to work.
All right, so I just got all the parts that I needed to reassemble this whole fuel pump system. Um, I got all the new crush washers here, here. There's one, two, three, four, five. This is a compression fitting. Um, got this new hose, this new hose the fuel pressure accumulator and I had trouble finding this hose um, so the part number for it is if you guys are looking for it for a uh, W126500 SEL most likely for the SEC as well here it is A126470 1675 um, also got the line for the bottom um, that is probably the return because this is I think the main feed line okay and this guy here you need a washer for that and we're gonna go ahead and put this thing in and uh, pour some fuel in the fuel tank and see what happens so let's get to work So here I'm fastening all of the uh, clamps, um, the two main fuel lines, and it is really tight under there, so it does take a little bit of time, but um, it did end up getting that situated, and you got to make sure that the orientation of the return line and the main line are in the correct position um, so that the uh, bracket lines up with all the fuel pumps, etc. let's recap what I did here so I installed the plus and minus terminal new hoses are all tied down those all up there a little bit of pain in the ass that one here fuel accumulator uh, reattached this hose clamps everything's good to go so let's uh see if she'll fire up I already put the battery terminal on Let's try to crank it over fingers crossed <sighs> Woo! she's alive That is awesome. So, good sign. Car fires up, runs for a little bit, and I uh, think this is going to be a little bit fine tuning uh, over here. Um, most likely, the warm up regulator needs to be cleaned out. And um, if that, once I put a full tank in, you know, before I do the first drive, I'm going to need new tires. The one is flat. So I'll uh, do all that, put everything back together. If I'm able to fire it up and it runs on its own, then I'll uh, run some uh, fuel injector cleaner. Uh, I got this Liquid Molly fuel injection cleaner. It also cleans out the in engine. So I'll put that in on a full tank. And then I uh, might just need some fine tuning, which uh, if if it does, then I'll have it dropped off in my buddy's shop. And uh, yeah, so really excited. This thing is uh, purring. Uh, a lot of work with the fuel system, but definitely worth it. Um, can't wait to get this thing on a road. All right, that wraps it up for today, guys. Uh, thanks for joining. I'm really happy that this thing fired up. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on uh, what I'm going to be doing next to the car. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll leave the links down below to my previous videos. Till next time.